To write the formula for krypton difluoride, we first need to know what type of compound we have here. So if we look at the periodic table organized by metals, nonmetals, and metalloids, we find Kr for krypton, that's right here. So that's a nonmetal fluoride, that's our fluorine right here, that's a nonmetal. So two nonmetals, that means that we'll have a molecular, also called a covalent compound. So we're going to use these rules here to write the formula. First off, we'll write the element symbol for both of the elements. Krypton, that's Kr. Then fluoride, that's from fluorine, so we'll have F. Next, we'll place a subscript after each element according to its prefix. So for krypton, there's nothing written. We don't write mono on the first element. So we don't need to do anything for krypton. There's only one krypton. It's not written, but we assume it to be one. For difluoride, we have di, and di means two. So we'll have F2. There's our subscript. That makes this the formula for krypton difluoride, KrF2. If you need help memorizing these prefixes, this table here, that might help you out. This is Dr. B with the formula for krypton difluoride, KrF2. Thanks for watching.